Hello everybody, welcome back to another food review. We are going to be trying out a whole bunch of authentic German food, condiments, beer, fish, chocolate. We've got a whole bunch of stuff we're going to be trying today. Thank you so much to Heike, Stephanie, and Thorsten for sending these to us. We cannot wait to dig in. Everything looks so good. First thing is always beer. beer. <laughs> As Satoshi would say, we have two beers today. Mm -hmm. Which one would you like to start off with? Shall I start with Gaffel Kirsch? Gaffel Kirsch. Kirsch? Sure. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. Kirsch. On the notes here, they say beer from Cologne is always called Kirsch. Kirsch. And there are 25 types of Kirsch in Cologne and it tastes a little bit like lager beer. The name comes from the type of brewing and is named after the German name of Cologne or Köln. So let the feast begin. Cheers everybody. Cheers. Prost. Prost. As they say in Germany. Mm. Yeah, it's like beer, but it has the some kind of taste. I've never I've never had this taste. Analyzing, some kind analyzing. of some kind of some kind of some kind of taste. Mm. Some <laughs> kind of taste. Um, I hope it's a good taste. Good taste. Malt, fermented umami. Fermented umami. Well, while you are analyzing, we're gonna start off with some food. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the can can food. Actually, they're all seafood here, and they come in these tins. And the first one is called Kielersproten and. I believe this is a uh, mackerel. Maybe it's mackerel. This one is simply smoked in uh, vegetable oil. Oh, yeah, mm. vegetable oil. Okay, so we're not really sure how you're supposed to eat this. I'm assuming maybe you're supposed to eat it with some kind of bread, but we don't have any bread today, so we're just gonna eat it right out of the tin. And Justin, what's up? Why are you why are you barking? Takimas. Takimas. Mmm, I like this. Mmm, that's delicious. Mm. It's mm. not fishy. No, it's not. Mm. I was very surprised by that because, you know, um, we eat saba here in the can, mm -hmm. and they can be sometimes fishy, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But this one has no fishy mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. taste or smell at all. Mm. Maybe using a good good oil. Mm. And maybe because it's smoked. Smoked. Ah, mm. that's right. Maybe that's like eliminating all the, the, the fishy older. Mm -hmm. So the next one is Inso Hebschen. Okay, this one is herring uh, that's smoked with pepperoni and oregano. Pepperoni? Pepperoni and oregano. You know oh. what? Sorry, the first one was not macro, it's also herring, I think. This one is like uh, little pieces of mm. fish mm -hmm. with um, I don't know, this looks like vegetables to me. But it says pepperoni, right? Uh, maybe this, maybe pepperoni means pepperoncino. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's looks peppers. Like, looks like a bit pepper. Yeah, looks like, well, it looks like chili pepper or something. Oishi, I like this one. It's good for pasta. Mm, true. <laughs> mm. This one. Wow, this tastes really delicious. It's definitely some kind of pepper. Do you taste the oregano? I don't taste the oregano. Here is the oregano. Here. Mm, Maybe the, 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 some kind. I can mm. enjoy that. Some kind of uh, herb. Mm. It's. You're right though. I think this would be good in pasta. Mm. You know that oil itself is mm. super flavorful. Mm. Next, right here we have the uh, scomber mix and this is the classic and this is mackerel this is mackerel in tomato sauce and vegetables mm, sounds nice yeah it kind of <laughs> looks like like it's shredded so it mm. looks like tuna in a way like a tuna stew or something it's also good for pasta i think <laughs> i i think so let's give this one a try mm. <laughs> oh shit mm. 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 my favorite one so mm. far <laughs> Mmm, mm. that's good. Definitely will go well with pasta. Mm. Perfect to me. Mm. Mm. Also on a, a piece of nice rustic bread, this would go well with that as well. Mm. I'm especially enjoying this today. You know why? Because we're not allowed to travel yet. And we're eating stuff from Germany. 
That's I bad. feel so fortunate. Okay, just to change it up a bit, the next one, these are, uh, this is a mussels mm. shellfish. Mm -hmm. And um, this is an arrabbiata sauce, mm -hmm. which is a pasta sauce made from garlic, tomatoes, and dried red chili peppers in olive oil. Also very good for pasta. <laughs> Look at that, it looks so delicious. Mmm. Mm. 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 Sweetness, good. And that mm. flavor of the mussels, mm. Mm. delicious. I love the flavor of mm. mussels. Oh, the tomato sauce is delicious. Okay, the last one that we have in the can. This one is the scomber mix barbecue. Oh, yes, scomba mix. So this is mackerel, a barbecue style with kidney beans in tomato sauce. Oh, wow. Oh. It's interesting. It's super it's, interesting, it's, right? It's not just the, the, the ingredients. It's, no, it's meal. You know what? This gives me an idea because here in Japan, we eat saba in the can, uh, but they usually come in maybe three flavors at the most: mm. uh, just in the oil, and then maybe miso, miso, and, or soy sauce, and soy sauce, and that's mm. it. Mm. I think we can make something like this mm. with the saba. Oishi. Mm. Oh, oishi, ne, kore. A little bit of smoke too. But same time, it's sweet. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And then tomato is it tomato sauce and garlic. That is delicious. Mm. I love the addition of beans in there. Moving on, we have some sausages in front of us, and the sausages are Japanese sausages. Wait, wait, wait. Before going move, moving on to sausage, mm. we have to taste another beer. Okay, the next beer we have is the Reisdorf Kirsch, and um, it comes in this red can here. Hi, cheers. Yes. For me, it's another kind of malt fermented flavor. <laughs> Everything tastes fermented to you. The natto lover here, because it's <laughs> alcohol is the result of fermentation. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> so this company is making beer since 1516. Oh, long history of beer making. 500 years ago. Mm -hmm. Wow. 500 years ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing the calculation for me. I'm so bad at math. I like it. Mm. This is my type of beer. You know, I don't like IPA. I like the lighter beer. So like, this is like my type of beer. Okay, so we got sausages. And the reason why we have sausages is because we have this tub of mustard. This the sausage is, is Japanese sausage. Japanese sausage. And this mustard is kind of interesting because this is called the historic mustard mill. And it's made using the beer. I, I think it's this beer right here, the Gulf of Kirsch. Um, this is made that, with thirty percent of this beer. That's interesting, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's that's interesting. super interesting. Wow. And I love, I love this package or the <laughs> container. The container. <laughs> The mustard is very thick. Oh. It doesn't look like any kind of mustard I've seen before. It looks like miso. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 That is a very unique mustard. Mm. I've never eaten this taste. Me neither. It, it's very. Um, it has a very sour. Mm. Like, I mean, mustard is a little sour, but this is even more sour. Mm. But it's uh, very complex. What? I found. Yes, what did you find? I found the taste of lemonance of beer or kind of that, like that, mm. making the process like beer beer mm. in it, in, in this it. mustard. Really? So you're tasting beer debris in here. <laughs> you're right. It does kind of taste like beer to me. Mm. A little bit. It has that hop flavor. The last thing we have as far as savor is concerned before we get to the dessert is we have this sauce. It's called a Fagan Semp sauce. And this is a sauce to be eaten with cheese, which I find very interesting. It's a sauce made with fig, Fig. And a mustard oh. seed oil. Mustard seed oh. oil. Isn't that interesting? Like I've never heard of such a thing. So we have some uh, camembert cheese here from Hokkaido. Once again, 
Japanese. Fusion of Japanese and German here. Okay, let's try that. I'm so excited to try this. Mmm. <laughs> so good! Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. It made this camembert cheese like a hundred times better. I mean, I like camembert cheese to start with, but. May I try it? It's completely it? changed it. May I eat as it is? Yes, yes. Wow, that is a very, very sophisticated yet complex flavor. And this sauce mm. changed the camembert, flow, camembert cheese mm. dramatically. Dramatically, that's true. Mm. Like completely changed it. Mm. Yes, yeah, so we have chocolate for dessert. And this chocolate is from a chocolate manufacturing company based in Bremen in the northern Germany. Alright, so the uh, the first one is Kugelbiss Ingwer, and this is a full milk chocolate. So I think it's milk chocolate, and um, I googled it. So this is pumpkin seed chocolate with ginger. Pumpkin, pumpkin seed, seed chocolate. chocolate. Which well, there's pumpkin seeds mm. I think inside the chocolate, and it's um, tinged with ginger. Mmm, ginger, <laughs> ginger, ginger. <laughs> Immediately, the ginger flavor came. <laughs> we don't have this flavor, chocolate in Japan. Like, jo like if, Japanese chocolate. If Japanese company mm. sell this combination, mm. pumpkin seed and ginger, mm. it sounds very weird for many people. Does it? Really? Why? It's strange. <laughs> it's strange. <laughs> <laughs> well, for, uh, for us Japanese, it's not, it's not common. Mm. True. That's true. <laughs> That's fair. But it's really good. It's really good. Really it's good. Unique, I have you... to say. Okay, the next one is uh, more straightforward. This one is pumpkin seed with salt. So a bit more straightforward than the first one. Pumpkin seed pumpkin with seed salt, salt, milk chocolate. Salt. A little bit salty. Mm. Salt chocolate. Mm. Mm. Salt chocolate is delicious. Good. Mm. Recently, we can find in Japan too. Mm. Mm. But I feel like this one is saltier. Saltier. The yes. Japan one is just like very like subtly salty. Mm. Japanese, uh, Japanese using way of salt mm. is enhance the sweetness. Mm. Right, so right, right. It contains a little bit, very mm. little bit. This one, like the salt, is mm. the flavor. Mm. Yeah. Okay, and the last one we have here is pumpkin seed with chili. Hmm? Hmm? Mm. Did you find chili? I did. It's not spicy. It's the taste of the chili pepper. But now, now my, my tongue, my tongue, my throat <laughs> is. We have spoke too soon. <laughs> Piri 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 to. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Piri piri to. Mm, yeah. There is definitely a kick there. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually becoming a little bit hot. But... <laughs> too quick. <laughs> I have to say though, this is a nice chili flavor. I actually don't like chocolate with chili because it's too strong for me or it's too overwhelming. But this one, I don't know what kind of chili they use, but the chili they use doesn't overwhelm the chocolate flavor, mm. which I like. It just adds like... an. A little accent to the chocolate. Mm. Mm. I feel the, the culture of chocolate. Mm. You feel it. Mm. Mm. It's different from Japanese culture of chocolate. For sure. Yeah, mm. I think Japanese culture of chocolate is more like for kids. Especially we have the expensive, sophisticated chocolate. Mm. That it's not common. Right, like from the supermarket. Mm. But maybe these are not like supermarket quality. Maybe, maybe these are um, also, I don't know, like high-end chocolate in Germany. We don't know that. Well, wow, that was a lot of different food that we tried. Um, what were your favorites? What were your standouts? My favorite canned food was a scumba mix. The scumba mix. Scumba mix. Scumba, <laughs> scumba mix. <laughs> and also, I like the, the, the mustard. The mustard. 
<laughs> you like the mustard. <laughs> mm, I love this mustard. You, you know, um, I, I have to agree with you. This mustard, not even joking, it's one of the best mustards mm, that we've tried, I think, mm, in mm, our lifetime. Mm. It's that good. Um, my favorite um, for the can for the can ones was actually the same one as yours, I think. But I, I'll just say that you know, just because it's not meant to be. And and the the second thing I love is the fig sauce. Oh, fig with sauce. the cheese. That one just blew my mind. Oh my god. I'm so sad because it's a small little container and I know this is going to be gone soon and once it's gone that's it <laughs> maybe I can find it in Japan we'll see I'll look, at, I'll look for it on Amazon maybe so good once again thank you to Heike, Stephanie and Thorsten for allowing us to try some of your local cuisine from Germany we had such a great time obviously we did Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which ones were your favorites? We would love to know. And if you're new to our channel and you like food reviews like this one, I think I had a little bit too much to drink today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next delicious video. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye <laughs> everybody.